Started off well defensively, uh, kind of let up uh, in the second half of the first half, uh, but you know, we grinded it out, came down to the wire. Uh, our team stayed together and we got the win, so I'm happy, I'm happy we won and it was a good team win and on to the next game. Questions? Kobe, it was a rough night, man. There's no two, two words about it. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a team leader when you know you're having an off night? What's your strategy to help the rest of your team make sure you get that W? Uh, you know, just try to do everything else. Um, rebound with that defense. Uh, see the open man for shots, you know, just stuff like that. I, I st and stay aggressive, too. You know, I'm, just because I'm shooting bad, I'm not going to stop shooting. So um, just, 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 doing, just trying to do other things uh, to help my team win. Um, you know, so yeah, that's basically it. What's the moment like when you know you've kind of been having a bit of a rough game, and then you step up to the line there with five seconds left with the two free throws, and at least get a three point lead, kind of build an insurance for the defense? Um, you know, I always have confidence in myself no matter what. Uh, I could go over 30, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to shoot the next one. Uh, those free throws, you know, my teammates had full confidence in me, I had full confidence in myself, and I I just knocked them down. Um, you know, I know my team needed me, uh, so I just made the free throws. Uh, you see, your by coming in the game, you see, your was known to be a big time rebounding team. What, you know, how did you guys approach <coughs> that you know, coming into this game with with knowing they're rebounding? I mean, you guys out rebounded them by three tonight. So, mm -hmm. you know, what was the preparation like in, for that? Um, you know, we just got to get bodies on bodies. Uh, it was the first thing, and. Uh, our guards had to crash in and help help out with the base because we know their guards don't don't crash. Um, so you know it was just really about team rebounding, all five guys getting on the glass, and you know we did that tonight and it showed up on the rebounding stats. Guys like play style off the bench. Yeah, um, you know that's what our team's about. You know. Our guys uh, are ready to step up at all times. You know, we put in a lot of work uh, in practice, in, the, in individuals. Uh, those guys are always ready to come in and contribute. So, you know, I'm proud of those guys, and I'm, I'm happy they have the confidence to, to come in and do what they do best. How are you feeling physically now? Does it look like you're moving? <sighs> uh, I'm, Still buggy, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'll be fine. I'm, 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 I'm a little beat up, but, you know, uh, running off those screens and stuff. But, uh so I just, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what he was thinking, but, uh, but yeah, um, you know, this, this is the game, but it's, it's, it's the grind of the season and I'm a little beat up, but you know, that's all right. Um, that's what we got the trainers and strength coaches for, you know, uh, they, they do a great, a good job of keeping us healthy and, uh, just, just keeping us fresh. Um, so, you know, I'm probably after this, I'm probably going to go and get in the ice tub and just try to get fresh a little bit for tomorrow. Um, you know, I was just, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to stress about how bad I was playing too much. Um, it may seem like I look like I'm down on myself, but it was really just me trying to keep my composure. Uh, you know, I, I know I wasn't playing well, so I, I wasn't trying to get too low or get too high. I was just, you know, trying to stay even kill. Um, you know, I'm going to have bad nights. You know, tonight was a bad night, uh, but, you know. That's all right, you know. Just it's, it's it's that's what that's what comes with the game of basketball. You know, you're gonna go through ups and downs. So you just, I'm gonna take the good with the bad and move on. Any early thoughts about your next opponent? Uh, no, uh, uh, I'm not really too focused on them right now. Uh, I have a lot of things going through my mind right now. Uh, but I know they're a good team. Uh, we're, we're gonna get ready for them tomorrow. Go through go through some of their stuff. And you know, go get a W down there. Um, it's kind of been a little bit of a um, occurring thing where the defense plays really exceptional in the first couple of minutes of each of the halves, and then kind of things start to kind of mm -hmm. close, mm -hmm. kind of drag a little bit behind. Um, is there a reason why that's 
defense kind of like that? <coughs> How are you guys going to be able to kind of stretch those defensive Um, I guess once once we start getting tired, you know, we start we stop talking less, and you know, we start being active. Uh, you know, we just I guess we can't just give in give into fatigue, especially me. Uh, I got really tired uh, in that second stretch, um, but there was really no excuse for that. Uh, we're gonna get it. Uh, we, coach has been addressing that. Uh, since since a couple games ago, because uh, we we've been doing that, so you know we're gonna keep working on it and get better at it, and then ho hopefully by the end of the season we play two halves like that throughout the whole game. So uh, that's what we're working for, and it's gonna get done. Um, I think uh, anytime we get a win, it's a, a good game. Um, it was good to be on the winning side of a close game. I mean, the past couple of years, I mean, two years that I've been here. Or, We've had a lot of close games where we ended up losing, so it was good to get on the winning side. I mean, free throw percentage went up compared to our game against BYU, so I mean, everything's looking in the right direction. I mean, we guarded really well. Um, our offense kind of struggled there for a little bit, but I mean, all that matters, we came up with the win, so. Um, I mean, everyone uh, knew what they had to do. Everyone went in and was able to get up their extra extra shots. I mean, free throws. I mean, when we're practicing, we don't get that much time for free throws. Cause we're prepping for the next game and things. So we took that upon ourselves, kind of getting some extra shots over the weekend and then before practice and that sort. So, I mean, everyone just really kind of took it personally because we know we're a better free throw shooting team than that. And that's the result we got, which was good. It's kind of a ragged a game like that, shots aren't going down. I guess you just kind of got pushed through. I mean, you hit all your shots, but the other guys are really struggling. Yeah, I mean, it's just a game where you gotta you gotta keep pushing through. I mean, it's um, an ugly game. I mean, probably for the fans, probably not the the best game to watch. But we we knew that it would come down to a few stops, and that our defense was really going to be what was going to win us the game. I mean, our offense wasn't as good, but our defense was really what we were going to look back on and be th that's what won us our game and that's what did so speaking of stops that key stop right at the end um, you know that you got you got Kobe back on the free throw mm -hmm. line to get you guys up um, can, you, can you just take us through that last kind of possession for you guys I mean you, you're the one that ended up with the ball in your hands I just want to yeah uh, <laughs> I know um, I don't really know how I ended up with the ball but I did um, <laughs> But I mean, uh, Alex made a great play going over and just affecting the shot, making, um, I think it was their number 14 or 24 coming down the lane, just m made him shoot a tough shot. I don't know if Alex got a hand on it or what, but all I know is I ended up with the ball. I just tried to get it to Kobe um, so we could ice the game, and that's what we did. What about their very last shot? Your... Oh, the... Do you have much concern that that was going to go in? Um, I mean... <laughs> Once he got it up, there's the, the little concern right at the very end that maybe he was going to go in. But, I mean, we knew not foul, make him catch it, make him take a tough shot. That's um, And I feel like we executed um, defensively on that very, very last possession as well. I think it's now five of seven from three on a year. Um, do you want to keep looking for your shot a little bit more? Um, yeah, I mean, when when I'm open, I'm going to shoot it. I mean, that's what the coaches expect me to do. That's what my teammates expect me to do. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, as If I can help our team in any way be shooting the three, getting rebounds or what, I'm going to do all I can. Yeah, um, an ugly win, which uh, for a coach is uh, a great thing to be able to say. And we haven't had many ugly wins around here the last couple of years. And when you have a team that can win ugly, that means you have a team that can defend a little bit. And, you know, I, I challenged our guys before the game uh, to hold those guys to under 40% from the field, under 30% from three point range. And we had it 
put it on our board. We, we said, that's what we're doing. That's, that's my challenge to you. And uh, hats off to our guys because it was not easy offensively. They, they had a great game plan, I thought, in terms of defending us. Um, and we won the game defensively. We had a, we had a lull in, at the uh, end of the first half, last eight minutes or so of the first half. We had a defensive lull, especially from our backcourt. They, um, they kind of lost their defensive presence and, and really cost us a lot of points uh, in the last 10 minutes of the first half. But again, to their credit, uh, Kobe, Sam, Julian, uh, D'Lo, Diogo, those guys came back in the second half. We held Hazard and Leonard to, I think, five points in the second half. And they had 17 in the first half. So challenge those, those guys at halftime, the backcourt, um, and, and I thought they responded. So all in all, ugly win. That feels great to say. There was a, a point in the second half when you were down by four, and I think your team had scored one point last four minutes, and then Clay Stahl scored two straight buckets, and then it seemed the offense really started going. Was that a turning point for you guys? Absolutely. Clay finished a couple uh, plays in there that, um, you know, I'm not sure our other guys finish, and, and he he's – you know he's bouncy in there and and does a great job of of getting up by the rim in a hurry and and I was proud of him for that. He, he we uh, our ball movement got a little better. I, th I thought the other guy that made two huge shots in the second half was Quinn Taylor. Um, he he was he was big for us on both ends of the floor. Got a few key defensive rebounds there late, uh, but the the threes he made. Uh, were really big for us. And the other guy that I was proud of tonight was D'Angelo Isby. I thought he played his best floor game. Um, you know, four assists, no turnovers. He's struggled a little bit, little bit with the turnover bug. Um, you know, I thought he, like everybody else, had a couple of uh, ill-timed shots that, that we settled for. Um, but I, I thought he played a really good floor game and helped make some plays, including for Clay. But, you know, we got, we got 23 threes up. I would have liked to have seen you know, four or five more threes in the air, but um, and obviously make a few more. But again, we we grinded it out. Those are ugly offensive stats, uh, except from the free throw line. And as ironic as that is, uh, we could have used we could have used that free throw line Saturday night. But we'll take it. Yeah, you know what? I feel good about that. Um, and that's a credit to him because it had not gone well for him offensively. Um, he had a, a stretch in this first half. He wasn't very good defensively, and he he picked it up. He tried to make plays for his teammates, and he jumped up there, and I actually felt like he was going to make both of those, and um, that was great to see. Kind of speaking on Kobe a little bit, he's kind of struggled in a couple games this season, especially tonight, and we know he's kind of put a lot of emphasis on himself to Yeah, I think I think he's pressing a little bit, to be honest with you. And and um, you know, shot selection is probably as big of a problem right now as anything. I mean, you know, ninety nine percent of basketball players, when you take tough shots, you're going to shoot a low percentage. And um, I, you know, I think he's taken too many tough ones. And then you know, he's getting some good ones and and not knocking them down, but. Um, he also has to realize that he is the focal point of, of every team's defensive scheme. And they did a great job tonight of really um, shrinking the middle of the floor and, and not giving him much in there. And, um, you know, he's got he's to be a little better in the mid range area. Um, Sam made some shots, you know, from the mid range uh, area in the first half. And, and Kobe's got to settle for that 15 foot pull up jumper. Uh, because people are taking threes away from him, not letting him get to the basket, he's he's got to add that that extra layer to his game. And you know, there's nothing wrong with a wide open 15 foot jumper uh, if you're a good shooter. If that's what the defense is going to give you. Elton Jones back. Uh, did you get a chance to talk with him at all and see how he's doing out there? I didn't. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to talk. We shook hands after the game, but uh, you know, Elston's playing about 17 minutes a game, and he got 16 minutes. You know. Uh, tonight, I'm not sure that was uh, the plan he had when he when he left here, but that's the way it's working out. Anything else? Any any thoughts on the rivalry that's being renewed this weekend? Um, 
Yeah, it's great to, uh, you know, it's where I told our team, we, we have the honor, the opportunity uh, to go down and represent our university in the first ever Beehive Classic. And I think that'll be a great event for the state. And um, I think it's an event that should uh, be great for the state of Utah basketball fans. It's such a good basketball state. And I think it's long overdue in terms of this type of event. And wouldn't surprise me 30 years from now to see to see the uh, Beehive Classic still going on. After going 0-2 against teams, I mean, Beehive Classic, how important is this for you guys at this point to at least try and get one? Yeah, we get, we get one more crack at an in-state uh, rival. And um, obviously, we'd, we'd love to win a game as uh, in-state opponents. In-state games are huge to us. and and obviously our fans. And, um, you know, we've, we've played a lot of good games at Vivint. I, I'm, we haven't come on top, out on top. Um, I think the only team we've played down there is BYU, but uh, we've had some good battles with them. Uh, haven't been able to get over the top, so uh, that's gotta be our focus Saturday. And we've got two days to prepare. And uh, I think we'll go down there and play hard.